There's a new proposal on the board to create child ID kits for students in the Buffalo Public School District. Now those kits can provide vital information to law enforcement agencies if your child ever goes missing. Child ID kits can include things like recent photographs, a physical description, along with information about identifying features that your child might have, such as a scar or perhaps a birthmark. They can also include DNA samples. So how much would this cost and is it even feasible? Uh, Kristen Moran went looking for answers. According to Child Find of America, about 2,300 kids go missing every day in the U.S. Now in the city of Buffalo, one council member is pushing for child ID kits that he says would be vital for finding missing children. Just in the month of May, we've covered a number of reports of missing children in Buffalo. Buffalo police are asking for your help in finding a missing teenager. On the Buffalo Police Department's Facebook page, you'll find photo after photo of children who went missing. This has caught the attention of University District Council Member Rashid Wyatt. He's put together a resolution to address this problem. We had to do something. Adopted at Tuesday's Common Council meeting, White is suggesting that families who live in the city have some kind of ID card or child ID kit ready for when a kid goes missing. It would include an updated photo of your child, basic information, and possibly fingerprints that would be given to police. You don't have to scramble for a picture. I mean, in those moments of crisis, you may not have a picture somewhere that you can give to police or to give to neighbors to find your child. I think to have something like this put in place with a resolution, working with the Buffalo Police, working with the Board of Education, is certainly the right thing to do at this point in time. Jessica Bauer Walker is a mom of two kids who attend BPS. She tells me she doesn't think this is a bad idea, but says the root of why children are going missing needs to be addressed. I think it can be a tool in our toolkit, but I think it's really important for us to um, have difficult conversations and to talk directly with our young people. A lot of times there's mental health issues, a student is in distress, a student is in conflict with a family member, um, so, so people need help. I did reach out to BPS about this. A spokesperson says in a statement, while this is the first time the Buffalo Public Schools has heard about this proposal, we look forward to having a thoughtful discussion with both Council Member Wyatt and officials from the Buffalo Police Department to learn more about their ideas surrounding child ID kits. Buffalo Police tell us they won't comment until they learn more about the kits. Until then, this resolution moves to the Police Oversight Committee, and at this point, Wyatt is not sure how much this would cost. I hope that cost is not a factor when it comes to saving the lives of a child. Krista Moran, 7 News, Buffalo.